Hey there yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to My Yoga Time. Thanks for joining me today. Today's short yoga snack is a great class to fire up your core. We're going to focus on building strength in the upper back and shoulders, abdominal core muscles and also the hip flexors. So as this body ages, we need to maintain it and our core is imperative for our overall health, particularly as our back starts to wear and tear. If you don't have a strong core, then you've got nothing to support your back. So regardless of age, it's something that we should always be mindful of and work to improve upon. So there's quite a few different exercises we'll work through today. Uh, please don't be disheartened if you can't practice all of the exercises. The intention of this class is to help you build strength. So hopefully you'll return to it and in time with practice, begin to master and fine tune. So when you're ready, no props required, let's begin. Come down onto your back. And we'll get straight into it. Let's lift up those feet and stack the knees above the hips. It's as though you're sitting in a chair. Press your lower back and down into the mat. So you wanna remove any space between the back and the mat. Try to avoid those knees coming further forward than the hips, keeping them stacked directly above. So option one would be here, yogis. And if you're feeling this as a challenge already, please don't hesitate to engage Mula Bandha. So their ladies especially can lift pelvic floor, very similar to your Kegel exercises, gents the perineum muscle. So option one is here, option two a little stronger, lift the upper body off the mat, reach the fingers towards the back of the mat. Option three, we'll start to move the legs. You can straighten one and then alternate. Again, trying to keep the knee above the hip or thereabouts. And let's lift both feet up towards the ceiling now and the fingers. And here, try to get as much of your back up and off the mat. And let's lower down. Feet to the floor, let's keep the knees bent. You can turn the palms up. Let's press down into the feet, broaden the shoulders and lift the hips up. Just for a brief bridge pose to counter stretch. Breathing into the navel. Let's lift up those heels and lower down one vertebrae at a time. Well done, yogis. Feel free to hug the knees into the chest. You might like to take circles with the knees or a little rock and roll. Just a brief counter stretch. And then when you're ready, we'll move on. Let's build upon that last one. Knees above the hips once again. Option one is here. Option two is here. Option three, we're gonna straighten the legs and alternate the legs. Next time the right leg comes up, let's hold it there. See if you can bring the arms above the head and then exhale both hands to the outside of the right leg. You can interlace the fingers and extend those pointer fingers. Option to hold it still or alternate. Great work, yogis. Let's take the arm above the head, change sides. And both arms up, legs up. And let's release, well done. Doesn't take long to build heat with those few exercises. Let's practice that bridge pose once again to counter stretch. Broadening the collarbones. Slowing the breath down. And let's lift the heels, lower down once again. Feel free to hug the knees into the chest. Let's build a little momentum now, if you can, rock and roll forwards and backwards along the spine. 
And in just a moment, we'll catch ourselves in the boat pose, Navasana. And let's relax, cross those legs, rolling over now onto all fours. Just moving through a few cat-cow stretches there, inhaling into your back bend, exhaling to round. So if your body needs more, please move through a few more cycles. Otherwise, next time you're around the spine is the last time and we'll finish in our tabletop position. So we're going to move through our forearm planks now. Now planking is one of the best things you can do every day to improve the strength for the whole body. Um, our standard planks can be quite tiresome on those shoulders, elbows and wrists, especially if you have a pre-existing ailment. So we're going to explore our forearm planks today instead. So lowering down, ideally you want the elbows underneath the shoulders, palms are flat. Now let's start by extending one leg back. Now you might choose just to alternate the legs there, otherwise both legs back. Now let's round the upper back a little, so really broaden through the shoulders and try and press the back of your heart up towards the ceiling. Feel free to stay here. If you're looking for a little more spice, you can start tapping down the knees, alternating. Well done, yogis. Let's find our sphinx pose. Belly down to the mat. <sighs> Take rest. And let's return to those knees. We need to stay on the forearms though and move through your cat-cow stretches on the forearms. So it's a great way to release any tension in the upper back and shoulders. So you'll inhale into your back bend and then exhale around the spine. Take longer there if you need to. Otherwise, find your neutral position, staying on the forearms, lifting up into your dolphin pose now. So tuck the toes under and lifting up the bottom. Here, you wanna feel as though you're sending your armpits towards your thighs. Let's come forward into our forearm plank again. You can step those feet back, round the upper back, tuck the tailbone under. Either stay there or a little more spice, alternate, one hip lowering down towards the mat. So we fire up those obliques. Coming back to center and sphinx pose once again. The lower belly down to the mat. Gently draw the elbows back. Let's lower down a little bit further. Take the arms out in front. Keep the elbows and palms lifted and gently draw the shoulders back towards the hips. It should feel quite nice along the spine. And let's lower down. So hands, option one will be next to the body here. Option two, interlace the fingers. Let's tuck the tailbone under, engage Mula Bandha again. So a little lift through the pelvic floor and then as you inhale, lift the upper body, maybe the feet will float up as well. Chin lift, throat moves forward just a little. Feeling the breath rock the body. And lower down when you're ready. Feel free to make a pillow with the hands for crocodile pose, or you can turn your head to one side, rest with your hands next to the body, palms facing up.
And let's press ourselves up, rolling onto the right hip. So you're coming into the side sphinx. So right elbow underneath the shoulder or thereabouts, forearm is now parallel to the short side of the mat. Feel free to stay here. Otherwise, left foot coming down to the floor, left arm reaching up to the ceiling and lifting up those hips into your forearm supported side plank. So here you want to feel as though you're trying to drag the elbow towards the foot. That's going to help switch on those oblique muscles. Feel free to stay here. Option two, stack left leg on top of the right. Option three, take the left hand just behind the head there. And then you're going to bend the knee, bringing elbow and knee towards each other. Inhale to straighten, exhale to bend. Well done, yogis. Let's lower down, return to your sphinx, either staying on the forearm or straightening the arm, looking over your left shoulder. And let's press up to tabletop. Taking a little counter twist here, threading the needle, right arm underneath the left. If you can bring your right ear to the mat, let's point the left elbow up to the ceiling. Firm the right arm down, squeeze the shoulders towards each other. Either stay here or raise the left leg, pressing away through the heel, dorsal flexing the foot. And let's lower that knee down, pressing back up. Let's prepare for our standard plank position now. So if you need to, you can keep those knees on the mat, picking up the feet, preparing for your chaturanga. Otherwise, knees off the mat. Again, upper back will round a little. Bring the body forward as though you're looking over a cliff. Keep the upper back rounded and the tailbone slightly tucking. And then you want the elbows to brush the ribs as you come down to the mat. So let's press up into our sphinx just briefly. And then we'll take that same flow on the other side. So roll on to your left side. Feel free to stay in your side sphinx, otherwise right foot to the floor, pressing up, either staying here, engaging that left shoulder and armpit by trying to draw the forearm towards the left foot. Option to straighten the right leg. Option to take your flow, exhaling knee to elbow. Inhale to straighten. And let's lower down. Option to straighten that left arm, looking over your shoulder. Let's press up to tabletop. And we'll take that upper back twist, threading the needle, left arm underneath the right. Again, squeezing shoulders towards each other and gently pressing down through the back of the left arm. Staying here or raising the right leg as well. And lower knee down, let's press back up to tabletop. Well done, yogis. And let's do one last flow before we wind the practice down. Option one, you can keep your left knee on the mat. We'll inhale, kick the right leg back. Exhaling knee to nose. Feel free to continue with this movement. Otherwise, if wrists and shoulders permit, we'll lift it up into a three-legged dog. Then exhale into plank, knee to nose, rounding out the upper back. Inhale to press back. Exhaling knee to nose. Last one. Let's step that right foot all the way through. Take a low lunge, bring the left knee down to the mat and arms reaching up to the ceiling. Let's engage the left buttock here. Try and draw that knee forward, right heel back. Feel free to stay here, or you can interlace the fingers behind you, straightening out the arms. 
Taking a little wrist therapy here as well. Chin lifts, throat moves forward. Inhale. And exhale. Let's step it back into plank. Round out the upper back. Press back into your downward facing dog. Option to lower knees to the mat. Otherwise, if you did so on the other side, left leg up as you inhale. Exhale, plank, knee to nose. Step it through for your low lunge. Arms coming up. Gently trying to draw the feet towards one another to help support your back. Either staying with the arms up or reaching back, interlacing fingers, gently straightening the arms. Well done, yogis. Let's release. Downward facing dog. Come forward into plank. Option to drop the knees to the mat, otherwise we'll chaturanga down. Keep that roundedness in the upper back, elbows into the ribs. Let's reach the arms out in front. Keep the elbows and palms lifted, inhale. And exhale, lower down, roll over onto your back. Once on your back, feel free to hug the knees into the chest. And then we'll straighten those legs. You can either keep the hands on the outer edges of the legs. If you can comfortably pistol grip the big toes, you can take a hold, but it doesn't matter if you can't reach. Let's inhale, legs out nice and wide. Exhale, back together. Last one. And this time as you come back together, cross the left leg over the right leg, bend the knees, squeeze the thighs together and lift the upper body off the mat. Your last bit of core. <laughs> Let's lower down. Move the hips a little to the left and we'll twist, knees over to the right. Now if this is too intense on your hips, you can always straighten that right leg underneath you or you can simply uncross the legs. Breathe down into the lower belly, the lower back. And let's come back to center. Straightening both legs once again. Either hands to the outer legs or pistol grip those toes. Inhaling and exhaling. Last time here, let's cross right leg over the left leg, squeeze the thighs together, lift the upper body off the mat. And let's lower down, take your twist. Hips shift over to the right, about a centimeter. Knees come down to the left. And when you're ready, come back to center. Let's take a brief Shavasana, uncross the legs. Taking up as much space on the mat as feels good. Let's take a deep inhalation and pause. And as you exhale, har out the breath and give in to gravity. Be soft.
And let's begin to inhale a little deeper. Feel free to wiggle toes and fingers. Follow any urges to move or stretch. Rolling to your preferred side whenever you're ready. And of course, taking as long as you like there. Only coming up to seated when you're ready to continue on with your day. Thanks for practicing with me today, yogis. I hope that you've enjoyed that core class. Please feel free to make any class requests in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. Have a lovely day.